You know, you can't just train hard all of the time. And the sessions that are all about technique, sessions all about recovery, and sessions where we can get swimming gains. So certainly two, sometimes four times a week, they'll do just low aerobic swimming. And if we don't do that, they can't swim fast when I want them to. So it's important that the week is really well structured and we work on everything that we need to do. Before, sometimes I was having periods in training sessions, normally later on in the week, where I'd kind of be like, oh, I've got no energy. Having a nutritionist and access to the supplements has kind of helped me keep high energy levels throughout the week. I'll try and make sure that before training I'll have some kind of carbohydrates, so maybe some porridge or some cereal with some milk, and maybe try and get some protein in there, maybe some dairy as well, um, but not too much so that I have a full stomach, just enough to keep me going through the session. I've always been told, eat until you're full really. Good food, comfort food, you know, enjoy it. Healthspan provide sports essentials, which you take every day. Just make sure your body's all robust. And also vitamin D, you know, being in the UK, weather's not great, we don't get natural vitamin D, especially in the winter. So having that supplementation is really helpful. I always ask the athletes to be a high performance person away from the pool. And with that comes your recovery time, your sleep, what you eat, what you need for the sessions coming up. We call this a golden hour of when they finish swimming to get back and have something. So they're replenishing for the next session so you just don't run out of steam. I actually take quite a few Healthspan products, starting off with the Sport Essentials and Vit D. I also take the creatine, which I feel like as a sprinter it has a bit more effect on me than it would on a distance swimmer. I also take the protein powder, so after gym sessions, sometimes I have it just straight with milk, but other times I put it in my smoothies, so I have it with um, some banana, some milk, some oats, um, and like kind of some different other fruits as well, just to mix things up. I'll take a protein bar between swim and gym to ensure that I'm fueling after the session and before the gym session. It just fuels me and makes me feel a bit more alert and awake and ensures that I can get the best out of my performance in those sessions. Leading into a big competition, I'll take beta alanine for a period of about 10 weeks before. It's like a lactate buffer, which will help me during competition. As an elite athlete, you have to do the little things to try and get the 1% gains. It's a hard, relentless sport. You need to have fun along the way because we want you around when you're 18 and over and we'll try and make you a high-performance athlete. 